On the previous lessons, we saw a diffusious interface and how to deal with the walls. And what about the other architectural objects? This is the door object. In the panel on the right, we have the various properties among which we find the first and the second fixture types, meaning that we can choose a model for the interior window and another model for an external fixture if present, whether it has a grating, various setting for showing its measurement and its general geometry. But we will see each of the aspects and how to customize this object time as we go along. To insert a door, simply click on the wall and choose the alignment axis. With the F7 and the F8 keys, we can change the opening direction. Or, switching to the 2D view again, we can use another modeling accelerator that recognizes the door with magic wand. Again, as seen for wall, from the cut drawing, we can trace a line across the two lines that represent the doors, and detect and insert each door from the entire building floor plan. Each door can obviously be edited with regard to its opening direction using the F7 and F8 function key. Now let's see how to change the door model. We simply select it and open the door editor to modify the model. We can access the BIM object library and choose a different model. In this case, we will choose a slide indoor type and then set its opening side. For the window entity, it's basically the same procedure. From the object menu, we will select the windows object, define first and second fixture model and a grating if present, so the first fixture can be a classic window with glass. The second could be in aluminium, but also a shutter or a roller shutter. A couple of clicks are enough to define and set them in place, one to insert it and one to set its position. Same thing for the other windows. We can select any type of window and choose another model from the BIM object library. Then confirm and modify the measurement from here. Or type in its characteristic directly in the property toolbox. The auto detect features applies to our windows too, meaning that we can use the magic wand tool to insert the selected or predefined window type by simply tracing a crossing line over the DWG card where our windows are supposed to be. Now let's see the object inserted so far in 3D view. In 3D view, the first thing we can see is that our windows are positioned at the pavement level, while the doors are positioned correctly inside. Let's see how we can easily fix this with easy to use customization and parameter editing feature. A useful tool is the visibility menu that allows us to activate or deactivate the visibility of selected object types. In this case, let's hide the building envelopes, the 2D magnetic grid and the windows. We have already seen how to modify the door object, composed of three different levels, but we can also modify the weight directly from here. For example, I want to raise the doors, change its height, reverse the door's opening direction, left or right, and we have already seen how to use the F8 and F7 function keys. Further customization feature allows us to insert the reveal in the wall. Same applies to the Windows object too. Insert a door seal, insert this internal framing as we can see here, set the door's opening angle, for example at 45 degree. If we can add an extra casing or add a base profile, change the offset in relation to the wall, Change the dimension, the individual materials for each part of the door's object, or even modify the layers relating to each element that will be represented in the drawing models. And as seen for the building envelope, we have the apparent setting, the IFC properties, and other relating attachment. Let's now hide everything and modify the window entity. As seen before, we can change the windows 8 from the wall base. In fact, we will proceed with a series of multi-select. 
while we click in each of the windows that we want to edit. For this one, we will set a specific height, type in the value in this field, while for this other window, let's say that we want a different height value of 2.4 meters. Now let's see the window's customization. With one of the windows selected, notice all we can edit the settings and parameter in the panel here on the right to change the window's frame model. In this case, the double ingot windows. So select the model of the second window and insert a blind of a shutter blind. We can also model the grating with the same working procedure. Then define the 8, the base wall 8, invert inside with the outside or right with the left and use all the option already seen for the door's object. We will now show this door already open. Therefore, set the inner door panel to a certain opening angle expressed in degrees. Then do the same for the external one too, assigning it 180 degrees. Then, to finish, we will add a seal here too. Even when needing to modify all our windows, we can operate in the same way. So let's select this, this and this, and select a model for the second frame too. In this case, a two-leaf shutter. The same thing for these windows here. We will always choose a two-leaf shutter with a central separator. and then assign a seal to all of them. This next function allows us to copy the object properties and apply them to other objects. With the sample tool we will acquire the properties for this frame and using the bucket we will then apply them to these fixtures here. The menu here shows us all the properties that we have been acquired. Now we can simply deselect the characteristic that we don't want to copy. We can also select multiple objects at the same time to apply the properties from the right toolbox, such as the openings. So we will open some of the doors at 45, 20, and 180 degrees. By completing the stage, we will have created all the opening for the ground floor. Let's go back to the ground floor level and see the last property relating to the windows. As you can see, by selecting the Reveal option, the wall object is shaped appropriately and if we access the sub-menu here, we can define further geometrical properties. Let's now move on and see how to define the horizontal envelope of our building. Selecting the horizontal envelope object, we have the properties relating to its material layer composition, its thickness and alignment axis. For particular modeling needs, we can even set it as a corvid. Again, set its material, the layer and those properties common to all objects, such as appearance, add new IFC variables and attachment too. From an operational point of view, the horizontal envelope is defined by setting vertex nodes and using the drawing snap side, we can shape its perimeter. In this case, 
we will model around the bottom here where we will make space for a staircase and then close the floor slab modeling session with a right mouse button click and select finish. In 3D view we can see our horizontal building envelopes and notice the space for the staircase as defined in 2D plan view.